bunch of the competitors here can definitely bring it. Yeah, and uh, Baxter, he's definitely been thinking, you know, if as long as you have Bardock and Goku on the same team, you can put anyone as your third character. And Baxter has always loved labbing stuff and going uh, and, and playing characters that people don't know about. So having Videl on his team, this is a character that's obviously very underrepresented. You know, if you're not familiar with her mix-ups, you can get easily caught out, especially in a tournament setting such as this. And wow, great pressure so far. Pressure so good, staggering so well that the assist is back up and Videl's assist is back up as well. And wow, can't defend for long enough. Baxter showing us why he was second place last MEO and why he just won Sunnyside up. Here to play, here to win. Wow, all the extensions, all the assists, absolutely optimized combos coming out of this guy right now. Level three, Okazemi for Videl here. Whoa, into oh, the grab! Oh. Two level ones, huge amount of damage, and straight back into the Bardock to play neutral at the beginning. Yeah, as I said, you're definitely going to see optimized play coming out of back. So when he gets the hit confirm, when he gets the right situation, when he gets the OP, it's going to be the type of top tier stuff that you are looking for. Forget the Fan Rich, forget the Japanese players. We've got it here in Australia coming out of Dark Side of Backstar. Watch this man go right now. Nice! Wow, Ando chose the wrong time to deflect there, and Baxter with the perfect party. Nice. Good conversion straight into the level 3 again. Very, very confident in his Videl mix up in the corner, bringing her in for this level 3 Okazemi. Nice. Required sparking, freaked out. Wow! Great check on that Super Dash. <gasps> He's got both characters! Oh, not quite. Just dropped. Goes to the other side, fake cross up, gets away from that guard cancel. Baxter out of meter right now, but <laughs> just to get an opening somehow against the defensive sparking of Ando, now running out in the corner, Baxter. A character, two characters up, got all the advantage in the corner. Oh, it was just a little bit too long. I don't think I've ever played, I was expecting that then. It kind of just Good stagger, in both is, yeah, both. It was, Baxter is staggering so well, he knows exactly how to stagger just one hit, get an assist, and make the block string just long enough so that he gets straight into the next assist. So if you're not, if you don't know the right guard cancel timers, you can get blown up. And Baxter is playing so well. Unfortunately, he does get grabbed. Good stuff from Ando, but he's got such a long mountain to climb straight to the level three. That's okay, chat down here in Australia. Unless our characters can be translated in English, they will not be banned. Goes for the counter. Like, what a sick bait from Ando. Has he got these corner conversions? A lot of work to do at the 40, 45 percent. Oh, Goku Black, this is 2019. Baxter thought he could press buttons there, didn't work out. Ando with keeping him honest. Okay, tries to come in with the EX dive kick, finding some space, but Baxter with the Larry and straight into the level three. This might um, be enough. It, wasn't very, it doesn't look like it's going to be scaled very much. Oh, just not enough, but goes low. Covers the assist. Convincing 1 0 from Darkseid. It's Baxter here in winners round 3. Melbourne Esports open. Ando, no hesitation, no thinking about the character selection. Straight back into the hit. Oh, and the counter. the counter. Opening with the counter. Reading the aggression of Baxter. I love it. Did not capitalize much damage, but getting the plus, getting the pressure, Ooh, getting the advantage. Nice change of rhythm there from Ando. Look at that damage. Jalen back onto the ground. Damage. Goes low. What a deflect into tag. Great defense from Baxter. Baxter managing the tag. I was about to say, I was stressing so much. I thought I could take so much damage in about five seconds then. Baxter in the corner, managing to get Videl. Nice out. bait, 5M starter as well. And uh, the snap is smart again. No, nah, gonna nah, keep it here, wants to get rid of Videl. In the corner. Definitely feeling that unfamiliar. I think ba Bardock was the stronger character from Baxter, but very unfamiliar with those mix-ups in the corner. A double jump for Baxter in the corner just there. That was really cute. There was still an assist on the board from Ando. But wow, Ando's got some good sequences right now, but does get hit. Baxter with some superb defense. Let's bring that hit in, set up the fuzzy, nice block! And yes, does get hit by the second layer of mix-up with that assist there. Endo can get cute like Baxter did and try to switch out or get some sort of defense in the corner because he's going to be in a pretty disadvantaged situation here in the corner. Yeah, Baxter's got so many layers of mix-up with this Fidel right here, still got that grab available. Yep, forcing the sparking. sparking. Yeah, you can see how scared Ando is of that. And he's just going to use sparking to save the character. Baxter happy to use it as well to make sure that hit doesn't get pressure, but finds it. Going to 
get this in the corner. Yes, delay tech goes low. He's having to take that deflect dodge. Okay. Strong is there, sparking down for both players. Goes high again, gets the walk up, tries to come back, but great tag from Baxter, avoiding any more pressure. Brought in Goku Black. And this time, what's that? What's that? Tagging into Goku Black. Interesting, but the damage is being spread so evenly across all the characters right now that it's been such a back and forth, like we're almost through half the game time, not a character Whoa. down right now. Good block and punish from Baxter. Faded out that guard cancel. And he's going to be able to get this corner conversion. Straight into the dump. Me the dump right a here. A lot of damage. Look at that red Look, damage yeah, on the side of Ando. The huge combo. Baxter going for it right now because he knows he's going to get a setup off the level 3. He's going to get the oh! as long as he can just get one thing to hit. The, le the LLL going for that grab there. Ando caught sleeping at the wheel. And nice whip punish, Baxter all over this man Ando. Baxter ha frequently... Was just punching the clouds there for a good few seconds, just aiming in no man's land. Baxter just jumped over the other side like, yo, check behind you. Stupid. Woo! Look at Baxter. Ando definitely has, has turned up. Has put up. It's been a really good back and forth for this set, but just the way that Baxter is going to spread the damage between this game, not getting past the knockout. Oh, didn't quite get the extension there, but happy to take this Oki. Nice reflex, wow. Good. Baxter gets out of that. But still such a mountain to climb. What a reflex. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, three key cuts. Yeah, Baxter. The Ando can't Four find his way in. Baxter just Press controlling this so well. You can see Ando's a bit flustered here. Can't find any single way, and now he's trying desperately to get any hit, but Baxter's just happy to play defense. He's got so much health on everything. All that okay. fifth row key blast. Capitalizer. That's been like half of this Goku Black's health has just been from row key blast because it's Goku on the side of Baxter. Okay, makes the teleport. Goes for the instant cross up again. Instant air dash doesn't it work? Work out. Get another throw. Get the corner. Trying to make this comeback, but he's just one vanished away from losing. Okay, more pressure, but like anything will work from back there. You know, Ando tries to get the yeah, come here, man, and just goes over the yeah, top. There it is, the fifth key blast. That was literally all five last attacking hits from back were just rogue key blasts because he knew he had the advantage, he knew he had the life feed, he knew he had two characters up. He did not need to take any extensions, any risks, any yep. unnecessary that's right, risks. Yeah. So just taking the moments to just key blast here and there, that's all he needed. That's the type of calculated play. You want to see from a sponsored player who is looking to win this because that's right. This is a world tour event. Yeah, it is a world tour event. All right, fantastic. So Baxter, of course, we'll see more of him. I'm, I'm expecting him to be in top eight. That was a